Hello there friends, it's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and theloopylamb.com and today we're going to be working on another project for our Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along. We're going to be making a uh, top that has a one shoulder strap and it has a frill across the front and it's really cute. So uh, to follow along with today's tutorial you're going to need a worsted weight yarn in your color of preference. I'm using this Bravo worsted weight yarn today in the color Tranquil. You're going to need a three and a half millimeter or E crochet hook or whatever hook that you've been using for the crochet along to follow along and to match gauge. You'll need a pair of scissors, a uh, sewing needle and coordinating colored thread, a tapestry needle, two of these nine millimeter buttons, and a stitch mar marker would be helpful but is not required. So I'm going to clear off my workspace here and we'll get ready to get started. If you're ready to start crocheting, hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. To start our frilly shirt, we're going to need to create a chain of 48. And we're going to do that by starting with a slip knot. We're going to take our yarn, wrap it around our fingers, insert the hook under the first strand over the second, and pull that yarn out and under the first strand, off your fingers and onto the hook. Make sure that it's loose enough that you can freely move it on your hook. Now this top is worked from the bottom up, which means we're working from the bottom hem up to the neckline. And we're going to, again, like I said, start with a chain of 48. So we're going to yarn over and pull through the first loop. That's one. Yarn over, pull through the first loop, and that's two. We're going to continue to do this until we have 48 chains. So now that I have my 48 chains, I'm ready to start with row one. And to start, we're going to have to place a single crochet into the seventh chain from the hook. Now we never count the yarn on our hook as a chain. We're always going to start in this chain right here. And this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're going to insert our hook into that chain, that seventh chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. You should have two loops on your hook. Then you're going to yarn over and pull through two, and that's your first single crochet stitch completed. And now we're going to, I'm just going to pause here and let you know that this, these skipped chains here will become a buttonhole later. So we're not going to be working into that in subsequent rounds. So now we're going to place one single crochet into each remaining chain across, and I'll show you how to do that single crochet stitch one more time. Working into that second chain here, we're going to insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's your second single crochet completed. So if you'd like to pause your video and place one single crochet into each remaining chain across, I'm going to finish mine here and I'll meet you up, uh, meet up here with you for row two. At the end of row one, you should have 42 single crochet stitches and that chain six loop here, that's going to be a buttonhole later. So I'll see you back here in just a few moments when we're ready to start with row two. So I've just finished my last stitch of row one and I'm ready to move on to row two. Now rows two through five will all be worked in the same manner. And to start each new row, we're going to yarn over and chain up one. Then we're going to turn our work and then we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. So we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and that's your single crochet. Now you're going to single crochet into each stitch across and again, when you get to that end and you see that chain six space buttonhole, you're not going to work into that. You're going to stop working into that last single crochet. So if you'd like to pause your video and do rows two, three, four, and five in placing one single crochet into each stitch across, I'll meet you back here when we're ready to start with row six. So I just did my last stitch for uh, row five and I had misspoken before. We should be doing rows two through six in single crochet. So um, we'll also be doing row six and placing one single crochet into each stitch around. So um, do one more row of single crochet and I'll meet you back here for row seven. So now we are moving on to row seven. For row seven, we're going to chain up six. and turn our work. Now we're going to skip these six chains and work one single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. Now 
Now we will do a single crochet decrease. So to do a decrease, we're going to work our uh, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's how you decrease two stitches to one. And so we're going to be repeating this pattern of five single crochet stitches followed by a decrease across our piece. We're going to do that a total of six times. So we've already completed that once, so we're going to do that again. So one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. followed by a single crochet decrease. Now, if you'd like to pause your video and do this four more times, at the end of this row, you should have 36 stitches and your chain six button loop. I just did my last stitch of row seven and I'm ready to move on to row eight. To do that, we're gonna yarn over and chain up one and turn our work. For row eight, we're going to place one single crochet into each stitch across. So if you'd like to pause your video and do one single crochet into each stitch across, I'll meet you back here when we're ready to move on to row nine. Now I just finished the last stitch of row eight and just a reminder, you're not working any stitches into that chain six space there. And we're going to chain up one and turn our work in pre preparation to start with row nine here. To start row nine, we're going to single crochet into the first and second stitch. So we're going to go into that first stitch, single crochet in the second, and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And now we're going to do a pattern of four single crochet stitches followed by a decrease. And we're gonna do that five times. Two, three, and four, followed by a decrease. Now you're going to do this three more times, oh, sorry, four more times. And then at the end of the row, you'll have two unworked stitches. So I'm gonna to continue to work these stitches across and I'll meet you back here when we get to the point where we have two stitches remaining to work. So I finished my repeats of those four single crochets followed by a decrease. And now I have two stitches left in the row to work. And now I'm just going to place one single crochet into each of those remaining stitches. At the end of this row, you should have 30 stitches remaining. And now we're ready to move on to row 10. To do that, we're going to chain up one and turn our work. Then we're gonna place one single crochet into each stitch across. So if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here when you're ready to move on to the next row. I will meet you back here when you're ready to start row 11. I just finished my last stitch of row 10 and I'm ready to move on to row 11. To do that, I'm going to chain up six and turn my work. Now we're gonna skip those six chains and we're going to start working in this last single crochet of the previous round. And we're going to place a single crochet into the first three stitches. And now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And we're gonna repeat this pattern across our row of three single crochet stitches followed by a decrease until the end of the row. At the end of the row, you should have 24 single crochet stitches. I just finished the last stitch of row 11 and I'm ready to move on to row 12. To do that, I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. We're going to single crochet into the first three stitches. And then we're going to chain 14. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through the loop and we're gonna do that until we have 14 chains. And now we're going to skip 11 stitches. So we're gonna count here back on our piece here. We're gonna count over 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And now we're going to do a single crochet into that next stitch, so that 12th stitch. And we're going to single crochet into each remaining stitch across. So now that we have finished row 12, we're going to finish off we're gonna leave a tail of at least six inches here. You can do a little bit more if you'd like, but you're gonna use that for some sewing later. 
And then we're just going to, you can either chain up one or pull your yarn through the last stitch. And then we're going to um, grab our yarn and we're going to make sure that the wrong side is facing us. So um, right now at the end of row 12, the wrong side should be facing you. And then we're going to attach our yarn. Now this is where we're going to create our frill and we're going to attach yarn into the first stitch of row 12. So I like to do this by creating a slip knot. You don't have to do this. Um, I just do it. It's a little more secure onto the, under the camera here. So again, with the wrong side facing us, we're going to attach into that first stitch of row 12. So we pulled that yarn through the stitch and we're going to yarn over and chain one to secure it. And then we're going to have a do a chain three. So we've got one, we're going to go two and three, and this is going to count as our first stitch. We're going to double crochet into that first stitch. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that first stitch there, yarn over and pull up a, a loop. You should have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two. And now we're going to be working into the back loops only of each remaining stitch and chain across. So we're going to do a double crochet increase, which is two double crochet stitches into the same stitch. So we're going to um, take a look at the tops of our stitches here. And the back loop is the loop that is furthest away from you here. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook through the stitch to pick up that back loop only. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to do that again into the same stitch. Again, working into that back loop only. And now we're going to do a double crochet increase into each stitch across. And, um, and each chain across. And again, all of these are worked into the back loop only. So you're going to do this all the way across until you have one stitch remaining. And when you get to that last stitch, you're just going to work one double crochet into that stitch. So if you'd like to pause your video and work your way across your piece, I'll meet you back here at the end of the row. So I just finished my last stitch of row 13. And as I had said previously, there's, I just placed one double crochet into that last stitch. And now I'm going to finish off and cut my tail and pull that through. Now the, I'm going to turn the work to the right side and I want that frill to kind of stay down. So I'm gonna grab my tapestry needle and I'm going to use the tails of yarn that I have on both sides of the frill to sew down the ends of the frill. So I'm going to go around this chain three stitch here at the beginning of the row and I'm going to just tack it down just using a whip stitch to the body of the garment. And so you can see here that that's kind of tacked down. And then I'm going to repeat that over on this other side. Now, when you're doing it on this other side, just make sure that you're not uh, sewing that buttonhole closed because you are going to need that uh, for your button. So once you've done that, you can weave in your ends and then you'll just close your top and find the spaces where the buttonhole lines up with the other side of the garment. I'm sorry if it's hard to see there uh, with all these tails here, but you can just um, find the spot where the buttonholes line up on the other side and then sew a button on each on uh, across from each buttonhole and then you are all set to go. And that's how you make your frilly little doll shirt. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to help you in any way that I can. If you enjoy free crochet patterns, please check out my blog, theloopylam.com. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.